This for sure is one summer that no one's going to forget anytime soon. The summer of COVID-19, which means limited places are open. But don't let you and your family uh, not go have fun. There's still plenty to enjoy in your community. Visit Champaign County's Terry Reefsteck joins me to prove it with all sorts of fun things to do this summer. Hi, Terry. Hi, Tim. Hard to believe uh, the fourth is behind us already. Time flies when we're stuck at home. Yep. <laughs> and uh, things are slowly but surely starting to come back to life. Um, but a, a lot of indoor things with crowds are closed. So what can can we do what's allowed for us to do yeah well there's a lot of opportunities to get out and about in the community now that we're in phase four um some things have started to reopen up but there's also been a lot of great op outdoor opportunities that you know we all haven't taken advantage of yet big one is camping um, a lot of us canceled our vacations or made them shorter um, so this is a great opportunity to kind of escape your house for a little bit and go camping. Um, if you don't know, Middle Fork River Forest Preserve um, up in Penfield was named an International Dark Sky Park. It is the only one in Illinois and one of only about 50 in the country, um, which means it's the best place in the state to get a view of the night sky. So this is an excellent place to go out and go camping right, uh, right now and really kind of check out just the amazing um, night sky and also do some hikes and scouting for wildlife while you're out in the park. Now, I tend to call camping voluntary homelessness, but I know many <laughs> people love it. <laughs> if you don't like like being outside at night, uh, you can be outside during the day and just do something as simple as a picnic. Lots of great spots for that. Yeah, we have so many beautiful parks, and I think we have a lot of great opportunities for local food, too, to create this really unique picnic. Um, my recommendations, pick up some goat cheese from Prairie Fruits Farm, some bread from Picara, and some local jam from the co-op, and go out to any number of our parks. You know, you've got Allerton, the Japan House, both Champagne and Urbana have some really beautiful parks, and uh, you definitely want to pick up a sweet treat, too. You know, <laughs> can't have dinner without having dessert. Um, something like a caramel apple from cool bliss pop bliss or if you can hold on to it long enough some ice cream from jarlings yeah gotta be quick with the ice cream if you're doing that, uh, that for a picnic uh, most indoor music still isn't happening yet in terms of concerts but uh, there are some opportunities outside yeah, there's a lot of outdoor music that has just kind of kicked off this summer. Um, so some places in Urbana that are doing it, the Iron Post, Blackbird, and Rose Bowl um, are all offering outdoor music. Riggs has also had a couple bands out there. Um, in downtown Champaign, Poor Brothers is regularly having some music out in their patio, as well as Alto Vineyards. That's going to be great um, for doing it while you're out there sipping some of their own wine. And I just found out today um, that Rantoul is going to be having outdoor music music every Friday from now until Labor Day. So lots of um, live music going on. So it's a great way to support those local bands that were kind of quiet for a while and uh, get out there and enjoy something for yourself. Another advantage of phase four is uh, museums being reopened for the most part. That's right. They are allowed to reopen right now. Our local museums are playing it safe, and so they're taking their time. The first one to reopen, though, is going to be the Museum of the Grand Prairie here right after the 4th of July, which is exciting. Um, you can go to their website and schedule a time to go because it is going to be by reservation. Um, but it's a nice way to kind of, um, you know, get out of your house but still not be in the heat um, and get um, some of that education of, you know, the history of our community and our area from them. And then all of our other museums are working on their opening plans and we expect those announcements coming soon but until then almost all of them are doing some sort of virtual programming so i totally encourage you to keep up with what they're doing and then quickly as we wrap up here uh putt putt or foot golf <laughs> yep, so there's some fun activities with the family. Um, putt putt out at Old Orchard Lane and Links just opened up not too long ago. Or foot golf, if you haven't tried it, a mix between soccer and golf. Both Lake of the Woods and the U of I golf course offers this, and it's just a lot of fun. And again, another way to get yourself out of the house and doing something fun with the family. I tend to use my feet sometimes in real golf, which I know isn't <laughs> allowed, but it, it, it can be helpful from time to time. Thank you, Terry. Oh, we appreciate it. Thank you. We'll connect you with everything Terry just shared with us at our website. So many things to enjoy over these next few months of summer. Just go to CILiving.tv.